Hi everyone, so we're going to be going on to the next example where we're going to use use states, but I'm going to now use functions in order to increment and decrement the values instead of directly giving all the handlers to the buttons. I want to make it separate now. So let's actually make a new file inside use state and I'll make it example3.js and then I'll set up a default template, but let me import here the use state and then I want to set up the default function template and this is the example 3 function and what I want to do now is I'm going to set up the use state constant for number and set number and I'm going to initialize it at zero then um, let me just put a return here first and I'm going to set up an incrementing and decrementing button let me just finish the incrementing part and for this one, I'll do an on click and I'm going to set this up. I'm going to make a function that is going to be called handle click. And I'm going to make this a Boolean values that are being passed through either a true or false. So if it's true, I'll increment it. If it's false, then I will not. And I'll put false for the other one. And this is going to be decrement. And then I'm going to display the number values by adding the curly brace with the number variable here below. And what I want to do is I want to set up a handle click function. And in order to do this, I need to actually set up a function handle click. And then I'll say whatever that value is being passed over, I'll call it change. And this change if change, so if it's true, then we will change the set number to increment the number by one. But else, it's going to do something else. And it'll set the number for number minus one. And right now what we have here is and right now what we have here is we have some sort of function whenever we click this first incrementing button it will call the handle click which is right here in this function up above but still within the main function of example 3 but what we're doing is we're calling this function handle click and it's passing the variable of true and true will be the change variable in here in this function. And of course, whenever something is Boolean true or false, if we set it for if whatever value is true, then we can do something inside here. And I'm going to say if it's true, it's going to be incrementing. But if it's not true, then whatever default it is, then it's just going to... Um, make the number decrement by one each time. And what we have here now, we have the handle click here, and then we, which is true, and then the button which is decrement, which is handle click if it is false. So make sure that it's set up properly because if we do not put these um, brackets with the arrow function and it's just calling the function directly, it's going to go into an uh, infinite loop and it's just going to crash the entire program. So make sure you don't do this because it will not work. Um, these brackets right here, the empty brackets at the beginning with the arrow function is just, just denoting that only when there's some sort of event happening or like this click is actually happening, then actually run this function. Um, so that's what's really going on and whatever is going to happen is it's going to display the number as it increments or decrements.
So let's test this out right now. Let's save it. And this is going to be an example three use state. So if we go back to the browser and we go example three, you can see here that we have the increment and decrementing button again with the default of zero. So if we increment it, you can see it increases by one, or if we decrement it, it will decrease by one as well. So it's the exact same um, way to solve the problem as the previous video, but this is just another way of doing it in order to set up a separate function and using Boolean values.